Chaitanya na tasmai shri gurave namaha Vancha kaupata rubyascha kripa sindhu bhayevacha Patita nam pavan hebyo vaishnavipyo namo namaha Nama om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namane Namaste Sarasati Devi Gauravani Precharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasade Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So we welcome everyone to the third session here on our Nectar of Instruction yesterday with a number of uh, interruptions due to power cuts. Somehow we were trying to discuss the second text and we went through the different uh, qualities which are described by Srila Rupa Goswami as being very detrimental or harmful for our progress in devotional service. We do have a couple of, couple of questions which came up from the class. Uh, I didn't find them to be something I could really answer. One, one question, a devotee was asking about uh, the, six, uh, or the six aspects which are there in the first verse and then six in the second, six in the third, that they're in relation to the six Goswamis. I don't know, I've never heard anything about this. <laughs> maybe, may not, I never heard. The, you had another question, you said? I looked in the email, Prabhu, I couldn't see anything. Krishna Keshav? Sorry. Very well, sorry, I was on mute then. Um, yes, I forwarded you an email from Keshav Sharma Sundar, who is just about to log in now. Um, and his question was that he came across two links um, on the internet, one on Facebook and one on a site called akinchana.net. And he was disturbed by the conflict or contradiction in the philanthropic and altruistic work we carry out um, after reading these links, um, which were a little long, so I forwarded them to you today. Maybe I can forward them to you again today, and maybe you can have a look and come back to him tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Yeah, because I think that you'd probably need to read the links he's referring to, um, and they might be a bit long for you to read now in class. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so I'll, for I'll re forward that to you. You get the email from me, okay, from Krishna Keshava at myvoice.com. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mark. So, would you like to put up the PowerPoint, Prabhu? We can go ahead and let's yeah, look sure at it. Yeah, indeed. And which slide do you want to start from, Mark? Well, let's start from the beginning. We'll just go through, and I'll tell you when to stop. Okay. All right. So, just bear with me one second. The PowerPoint is uh, actually, you can see it's constructed on the basis of Prabhupada's purport. Prabhupada's purport to the second text, how Prabhupada talks about Duratmas and Mahatmas, and how those who have surrendered to Krishna, they're, they're the Mahatmas, and they're cultivating the good qualities. Whereas those who are not cultivating the good qualities, they're on the other side, they're the Duratmas, and they're cultivating the, all these negative aspects, Atyahara, Prayashas, Prajalpa. 
Okay, go ahead. We, we don't. We went through this. Yeah. Yeah. First verse. Go ahead. Okay, the second text we read yesterday. Okay, here's. We can. You might be interested. Just to take your, take a minute. We'll just look at this. This is in, in relation to Prabhupada's purport. Prabhupada's talking. Someone like to read that for us? Aniruddha Prabhu, can you read this? From Nectar of Instruction text to purport page 17. Such mentally crippled Duratmas are put under the control of Lord's external potency, Mahamaya, whose business is to subject them to the influence of threefold miseries. Thank you, Prabhu. So Prabhupada speaking about the, the Duratmas those who are not surrendering to Krishna, they're working under the Mahamaya. So they reflect these kind of qualities which are described there in the second text. Very interested in sense gratification and accumulating a lot more than they, we actually require. Okay, so they're subject to the threefold miseries. That's the next section in the slides. Go ahead. Prabhu, Krishna Kesha, next slide, yeah, Adi Admik, Adi Bautik, Adi Daivi. So nothing new there, we know about these things every day, confronted with the miseries of life. So our illustration shows on the bottom the unfavorable. The, the lowest, you've got the urges. From the urges, you get unfavorable activities and attitudes. And on the top, we've got the, the favorable attitude. Oh, the urges controlled by Krishna consciousness. And the unfavor unfavorable attitudes and activities are avoided. Also on the left side, we have the Bahir Anga Shakti. Go ahead. In the middle, start practicing Krishna consciousness. We get the seed of devotion. It brings us up from the Tatasta Sakti. We can be elevated into the Antaranga Shakti. We can go down the Bahiranga. Okay, go ahead. Krishna Kejab, thank you. Okay, someone like to read this? Annabelle, can you read this slide for me? Those who are not denuded, the great souls are under the protection of the divine chair. They are fully engaged in devotional service because they know the Supreme Personality of Godhead, original and inexhaustible. Okay, thank you. So, it's a position, Prabhupada considers devotees all Mahatmas because they're all engaged in devotional service. So we're, devotees are protected by Krishna. Go ahead. Krishna Kesha Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay, six unfavorable, six favorable. So it's the subject matter today. We want to hear about the favorable activities. Yesterday we spent a lot of time hearing about the unfavorable things, the things to be avoided. Now we want to hear how we can go get, how we can overcome these unfavorable attitudes, cultivating the favorable. So, who can read this one for us? Who have we got? Uh, 
Sureshwara, is it? Sarveshwara Shamsundar. Yes, Sarveshwara Shamsundar. Hare Krishna. Six unfavorable and six favorable activities or attitudes. One must promote himself to the platform of fitness, Sarvaguna, by following the instructions of Rupa Goswami, and then everything concerning how to make future focus will be revealed. Metro construction prepares page 8. All right. So, how can we cultivate the mode of goodness, Prabhu? Would you like to tell us? By engaging in uh, the mind development process, seven of the three Well, that will make us transcendental. If we do that, if, we, if we're able to do just hearing and chanting, that's transcendental. That's not the mode of goodness. We want to come up to the mode of goodness first, and then we want to go and come up to the... How are we going to get up to the mode of goodness? Annabelle, can you tell us, how would you get to the mode of goodness? Megan Madaji, do you know? How would you go about cultivating the mode of goodness? Megan Madaji is not here today. She's not feeling very well. Okay. So who... um, Jim Mask will probably have his hand up there for a moment. Okay. So we'll hear from Jim, Jim Mask. Mas uh, by avoiding the six unfavorable and um, accepting the six favorable activities. Okay. <clears throat> That's the context that we're speaking, but you know, it covers a lot of a lot of the process of devotion service. Okay. Most yeah. of it. Someone else like to add something? Any other solutions to come up to the mode of goodness? Thank you, Shamaraj. This is Anirudas. So uh uh, to go to, towards the mode of goodness, first we uh, we want to adjust our attitude, and that uh, our at we have to adjust our attitude, behavior, character, and we uh, we should know what direction we should uh, progress to. Okay, how we, what what you say adjust your behavior, attitude. Uh, it's it's very vague. Uh, Okay, A attitude in the sense, uh, like uh, the verse 3 uh, tells Utsaha Nishad Dharat. Utsaha is excitement, Nishad uh, is uh, determined, and Dharat is patient. This, all is, these all are attitude. And Sangya Tyagat is behavior uh, that we have to, uh, you know, we have to stop uh, associating with the Jana Sangha people, and we should uh, associate more uh, with sadhus or de devotees. And then uh, about character, uh, what I meant was uh, those nine uh, 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 nine stages of bhakti, nine items of bhakti, we should follow that. And about direction, I meant, uh, as in the verse, there is Shatto Brita. You know, we should follow in the Anushin and we have to follow in the footsteps of Acharya. Okay. So you're saying, anyway, the we're cultivating those six aspects which are listed in the third verse will be very helpful for us. Yes, much. Yeah? Okay. Uh, Murti Shri, Murti Shri Mataji, would like to say something? Oh, yes? Please? Mataji? Go on mute, Mataji. Okay, maybe not. Okay, um, Ashutosh Prabhu. Hare Krishna Maharaj, Dhanu Pranam. Dhanu Pranams. Maharaj, one can rise to the mode of goodness by performing the three of austerities in the level of body, mind, and words, which are described in chapter 18 about Gita with faith for the sake of Supreme and without expectation of material benefits. This is one of the ways of rising to the mode of goodness. Okay, very nice. Yeah, giving up passion and ignorance. 
right? Getting away from all the material desires which bother us in the mode of passion. And the mode of ignorance is more con concerned with sinful activities and laziness. Okay, so we want to cultivate the mode of goodness. Certainly once we come up to the mode of goodness, then it's much easier, much... Uh, makes th things a lot easier for us to take up devotional service. The more we're influenced by passion and ignorance, the harder it is for us. We, although you can do it, but it's a, it's a big struggle. So it's recommended to come up to the mode of goodness, and from the mode of goodness, then we can go on, make progress. Okay? Let's go ahead. Uh, do you have Keshav Kishore waiting? Do you like, would you like to hear from him? Yeah. Keshav Kishore? Uh, thank you. Hare Krishna. Um, there, I think, I don't know if I'm right, correct me, please, Maharaj, um, that there are two variables in, uh, in our modes that are the cultural aspect and the past life aspects how we behave in in, in this lifetime and uh, so if that is true how can we overcome those two aspects that are strong that are almost intrinsic in our in this lifetime in our lives well, they're related, aren't they? You know, the, the cultural aspect is something which we're placed in as the result of the past life. From the previous life, we've cultivated a particular attitude, a particular behavior, and that yeah, resulted right. us being placed into a particular situation. So, of course, karma is not eternal. And we can overcome karma, but karma can be changed, it can be removed. And the process, of course, some people, some of us have much heavier karma than others. Some people have some very good karma. I often tell Pancharatna Prabhu, you know, I, I told Pan Pancharatna, you know, you have really good karma, you know. <laughs> he has a nice situation. Of course, he's a very wonderful devotee, and it's not by chance he's put into that situation. It must be something from previous life. And he would also say, he said, you know, I agree with you, I have good karma. <laughs> and so, uh, even if we don't have good karma, it's not eternal, it can be changed. Like, we're, we're in a bad cultural situation, we have a lot of trouble from, due to our previous life, the, different uh, things which are there in our heart, the contamination, the desires from the previous life. We can change all that, we can get away from it. We can come to Vrindavan and li or live here in Mayapur and take up devotional service. You know, people do it, just leave everything. Like Bilva Mangal, Bilva Mangal did it, right? He left everything. He left Chintamani and everything, he came to Vrindavan, he stayed in Vrindavan. So, somebody, even today, we have modern day, modern days, uh, Bilva Mangals. They leave everything and they come to Mayapur, they come to Iskon, and they take up Krishna consciousness. So the cultural background and the, the what's there in the heart from previous lives, it can all be overcome, it can all be removed by devotional service. The process of devotional service is so powerful, it can wipe out all of the anartas. We, you've studied in Nectar of Devotion how the different uh, material desires can all be removed in all the different phases. Parabdha and Aparabdha karma, um, Kuta and Bija, all these different stages of sinful reactions, they're all removed, they're all overcome by the process of bhakti yoga. It's just up to us to apply the process. Is that all right? Yes, 
Prabhu? Who asked that question? Yes, uh, Maharaj, thank you. It was beautiful, thank you. Hare Krishna. Okay, let's go. Maharaj, you have two, okay, so, some you more have two more questions, so do you, do you want to move on? Okay, let's hear the questions before we move on. Okay. Sundar Kesha Prabhu? Yes. Uh, Hare Krishna Mahatma Pranam. So, as, as we see, amongst the Guna, so different people just they behave independently. And we see in our movement, uh, just like when Prabhupada went in America, so, so many safety they come in contact of Prabhupada. So they immediately rise on a mode of goodness. Uh, we can say uh, sometimes on Sattva Sattva also. But some of them disciples, actually they have been deviated after some times. So you know, after coming on a at least goodness platform, they again become deviated. So in this words, uh, be counted. A debated disciple in Richards, they may be counted. Yes, we agree. Many people. What's what your point? What's, what do I think? Well, everyone, you know, I, I've spoken to many, I know many devotees, many of my God brothers, they came to Krishna consciousness. They stayed, some of them did wonderful service, you know, and some of them even went on to become sannyasis and they were leaders in the Krishna consciousness movement, they were really prominent, and then somehow or other they just went down a bit, went down. But, but what do they say? They say, well, I took the opportunity to do some service, I did some service for Prabhupada. There's no loss. Whatever service they did, that's their eternal benefit. They may not be able to go on immediately. They've deviated for some time. After some time, they come back. We've seen like that. We have seen devotees, some, sometimes they come back quicker, and some people take longer to come back. And sometimes it's the next life before they come back. But they come back. Devotional service is eternal. So whatever service they've done, they get the benefit. There's no loss. It's all in their, uh, all in their spiritual bank account. They're not going to lose it. They go back into Maya, they go back into Maya, and they, and they know it. They know I'm in Maya. And, but after some time, again, they come back. They want Krishna consciousness. You know, there's people like Achyutananda there, Achyutananda, he was a Swami, then he left, he was out for a long time, but somehow now, towards the end of his life, he comes back to Krishna consciousness. There's many examples, nice devotees, they did, they did some service, they couldn't keep it up, and they went back, but Again they come back. They never forget Prabhupada. When Sudama was leaving his body, Sudama was leaving his body. He'd, he'd been a sannyasi, he'd been a GBC, he was a leader. And he gave, somehow he lost everything, he went down and got into heavy maya. But then at the end of his life, when he was leaving the body, Prabhupada came before him. He saw Prabhupada before him, coming before him, all the, and he was surrounded by devotees when he left the body. So, many examples in our Krishna consciousness movement. We certainly encourage people, come and do some service, even we can't continue for very long, but whatever service we do, it's eternal benefit. Krishna consciousness is so powerful, they can never forget. 
Okay, the other question? Someone else had a question? Someone else had their hand up? Krishna Keshav? Hare Krishna? Oh, I'm not hearing anybody. Is, that, is anybody, anyone speaking there? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. 